Maybe you are here too to learn this song right now. It, it would make sense because you clicked on this video, so which is a really, really smart move. Well done, because it's a really, really lovely song to play. It's only got three chords, but we're gonna play it uh, slightly differently. And there's this lovely little riff here that we're gonna have a look at too. So lots of things to get our uh, metaphorical teeth in. But by teeth, I mean oh, fingers, right? And hearts. Very important. Can't sing without them. Can't breathe without them, actually. Before we get started, a massive thank you to the patrons of these uh -huh. lessons over on uh, patreon.com forward slash ukulele road trips. You are amazing and you are also making this exist and it wouldn't exist without you. Think about it for a second and give yourself a high five. Oh, and if you want to become a patron also, well, you're more than welcome to do that and that'll make me very happy. Takes me a lot of time to make all of these, so uh, put your clicks where your heart is. The song is particularly interesting because we can play simple chords G, D, C quite higher up here by playing uh, 7, 7, 5 without playing the G string, the green one here on my pineapple. And so by playing 7, 7, 5, we've got a G. By playing 6, 5, 5, we've got a D. By playing 4, 3, 3, we've got a C. And also by playing these, we've got the riff. In the midnight. So we're going to change a bit between those two sets of chords. And by that I mean between these higher chords with the open G string and normal chords, which you probably already know, such as the G, D and C. So, you know, you do know them. Great. The riff, uh, you need to play these three fingers, so index, middle, fourth, di da da and same thing three times, da 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 four times actually, if you count properly. Um, and to do that, you just play the strings in that order, and it goes red, yellow, blue, basically, so C string, E string, A string, and um, on all the notes where your fingers are on the four chords, so it's G star, D star, C star, D star. So slowly it's like this. Seven, seven, five, six, five, five, four, three, three, there's uh, something, 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 seven, seven, five, something, 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 it's quite late, something. <laughs> right, so you've got that probably. Um, and, um, and then you're off. And once you've practiced that, A quick tip is when you play the C star and the D star, then your index is covering two strings, right? That's quite important. That's the intro. Let's have a look at it together. So the way that it's written here is they're all star chords. And when there's the little things around the four chords, it means it's that riff. So that riff, G, D, C, D, G, D, C. And on the D, we start singing in the mid, in the, like this, in the, and then we'll keep on uh, having the fingers in these uh, three different shapes, but by strumming all the strings, we'll then have the chords. In the midnight moonlight I'll be walking along and lonely. And on mile, as you can see, we've got the riff again. Every time I do. And here, as you can see, the stars stop. We've been playing stars all along. And I keep seeing, and on seeing, we've got a normal C. I keep seeing this picture 
of you, DC. And then on to the chorus after that. Actually, we can have a look at it now. Of you, DC. D, here comes my own baby, baby, C, here she comes, G, now D, C, D, and it can comes as no surprise to D, me, with another guy, here comes my baby, and then, tuk, 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 it continues. Right, so that's the verse and the chorus, and that's all you need, because it's verse one chorus, verse two chorus, verse... You, you guessed it. You are quite smart, I must say. Well, verse 3 and then a chorus, and that's the song, basically. The way to strum all of this is to have uh, on the chords that only last one beat. In the midnight moonlight aisle is to have a simple strum of down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. So, for example, at the beginning, in the midnight moonlight is to have down, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down. But the thing is, when you speed it up, you don't play it like this. In the midnight, moonlight. It's more of a skip. And you really need to feel the second down more. And the up, not so much. It's a sort of semi there. And so when you play it quite slowly, it's like this. In the midnight moonlight But quite faster, it's like this. In the midnight moonlight And when the chord lasts longer than one beat, for example, that D star at the end of the line, we are going to strum down, down, up, down, up, right? Down, down. And on this D star, there are two strumming patterns of down, 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 up, down, down, down. And then on C and on D, there's one each. So it's like this. In the midnight moonlight, I'm up, down, up, down, down. Be walking up, down, along and lonely. Do -de -de, do -de -de, do -de -de. And every time I go up, down, up, down, down, up, down, let's keep seeing this picture. That's not the right thing. I keep seeing this picture of you. And here back to the here comes my the down down the down down the down because the chords are changing all the time here. Of you, here comes my baby. Here she comes now. And it comes as no surprise to me with another guy. Yes, it's um. A bit strange that he says, and it can come as no, but that's what's happening in the original recording of that. He doesn't do it in later versions, once he stopped music for a while, probably forgot the songs a bit, and then sings them again. But he does do them when he's a young fellow with the beard, although actually he's got a beard later also. But um, yeah, but that, that was gone, even if the beard stayed. What's really nice with this song is to manage to have this upbeat tempo. La, ba, ba. Even if it is quite a, uh, a smile with a tear, of course, because he sees his baby and um, it, she's with another guy. So, unless it's from the point of view of a mother, and he's like, ah, oh, my child with, with my husband is quite nice. But I don't, think, I don't think that's what this song is about. Never could be my note. It's, it's not about that. What's really important in this song is to get a nice feel for the right hand. So make sure that you always have this skippy movement. It's not it's slowly it's sped up. Okay, so not too fast. I'll play verse two and the chorus, and then faster verse three and the chorus. So starts with the intro. Ah, uh, not too fast. Sorry, no, should try again. Not too fast. That's the intro. And if we go. You never walk alone And you're forever talking on the phone I've tried to Same and loop. 
Here comes my baby Here she comes now And it comes as no surprise to me With another guy Here comes my baby Here she comes now Walking with a love, with a love that's all so fine Never could be mine No matter how I try And faster, just before verse number three I'm still waiting for your heart Cause I'm sure that someday it's gonna start You'll be mine to hold each day But till then this is all that I can say Here comes my baby Here she comes now And it comes as no surprise to me With another guy Here comes my baby Here she comes now Walking with a love, with a love that's all so fine Never could be mine, no matter how I try Do. Ooh, okay, so that's a little taste of how it can sound in your own um, version A couple of things that I haven't mentioned is that you do need to jump quite fast between the strumming and then back to the strumming. For example, in what I just sang. Never could be mine, no matter how I try. So if that's a bit hard, the last chord before, and then this could be applied throughout the song, the last chord before you have to pluck that riff, then you can just strum it once. No matter how I try. And that gives you time to set yourself in order to play this nice riff uh, quite nicely. It's quite simple when once you've practiced it a bit. It's really easy to understand, but it's maybe quite tricky to just land on that seventh fret uh, if you're playing the song at speed. And the other thing that I wanted to mention, I forgot. It was something about, ah, oh, right. In the song, there's a really nice arrangement with some sort of organ going with the guitar. And there's actually notes rubbing, and it gives a, a, a very nice sound. So it's not simple chords like this. Um, it's every time in the verse, so in verse number one, it will be uh, on aisle. In the midnight moonlight aisle. There's, it's a chord of D, but with the G added. So if you do prefer playing the whole song with just normal chords and not bother with the riff, then you would play that open two, two, open. But it's also open six, four, uh, five, five, open six, five, five. It's a D chord with a G, and that gives it that special rubbing sound, which is really nice every time you sing. In the midnight moonlight I'll be walking along the lonely mile. Um, and you feel free to lay into that, because that's what they do in the original recording. So there you go, that's your lot. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, thanks even more for uh, liking, commenting, and your support, perhaps, if you're so inclined. That would be really great. Um, it's the last tutorial in this setting here, which was, um, now it can be revealed, a five-star hotel in a Gulf state. No, it wasn't. Enjoy the riff, enjoy the song, and see you soon for more. Bye-bye.